This is the SC200 from SC Aeronautics, and this is also their first ever aircraft concept since they started in 2010. What makes this concept unique? In this quick one, I breeze you through. Before that though, be sure to follow the official new One Sky Flyer Instagram page, linked in the comments below for more great plane spotting photos. SE Aeronautics aim to reduce the carbon emissions and impacts of doubling air traffic every 15 years on the environment, even claiming, quote, poorly designed and manufactured aircraft will be a thing of the past, unquote. Yep, I guess you know what they're referring to. Anyways, the SE200 will reduce fuel consumption by 70% compared to existing comparable aircraft and reduce CO2 emissions up to 90%. Fun fact, they specialize in airframe design, and the main fuel savings come from the airframe configuration rather than the propulsion front. Their airframe would also work with hydrogen and electric propulsion. Think of them as the fuselage maker. They also list other benefits such as reduced weight, while the parallel engine arrangement reduces the size of the tail needed, which in turn reduces drag and weight. The headline figures are that this airplane is super efficient at 500 plus PMPG, emits 80% less CO2, and does not use any ribbons or bolts in the construction. Instead, it is 100% molded out of composite materials. This reduces weight. The airplane carries 264 passengers to 9,100 nautical miles marketed with a max takeoff weight of 77 tons. That may seem like a low MTOW, given a fully loaded A350-900 ULR flying 9,000 nautical miles would typically weigh around 280 tons. But remember the fuel weight is only 30% that of the A350, since it burns 70% less fuel plus the airframe is lighter. It's high lift wings. Three of them, in fact, improves efficiency and air fuel performance. Engine thrust is surprisingly high though, at 264,000 pounds engines required. No engine supply has been chosen and this airframe is still really early in the development. So will this SC200 fly? Well, in my view, probably not. However, the technologies would most certainly be applied to potential future aircraft developments and this is a wake-up call for Airbus and Boeing never to be complacent. Also in my view, SC Aeronautics should team up with Airbus, with SC Aeronautics designing the fuselage and Airbus the new hydrogen propulsion, spitting the cost and risk of designing the next generation of airplanes. What do you think? Will you want to fly the SC200? And do you think airlines will buy it? Do let me know. Thanks for tuning in and a final reminder to check out the official new One Sky Flight Instagram page for more great plane spotting linked in the comments below. Till we meet next time, one team, one aviation, one sky hit.